Welcome to the first part of an introductory lecture on the Internet and World Wide Web. In this lecture, we first explain the fundamental concepts of the Internet and the World Wide Web, then we discuss their key developments, finally, we do a comparison of the Internet and the World Wide Web. The Internet is a global system of interconnected computer networks that use the standard Internet Protocol Suite TCP IP to link networking devices worldwide. The Internet is a network of networks that consists of millions of private, public, academic, business and government networks of local to global scope that are connected by a wide range of wired and wireless networking technologies. Now let me introduce you to a very important concept in networking called packet switching. Packet switching is a key concept in networking where a message is broken into several packets which are essentially variable blocks of data. In this approach, sequences of packets are sent over a shared network and network resources are allocated on demand. Packets belonging to the same message arrive the same destination taking different routes at different times. The delivery of packets in the internet is based on this approach of packet switching. Now let me talk about the key developments of the internet. In 1961, Leonard Kleinrock in his research paper introduced the concept of packet switching. In 1968, DARPA, which is a military organization, funded a research project to develop what is known as the ARPANET. In 1974, Vincent Sarp and Bob Kahn developed communications protocol called TCP and ARPANET eventually morphed into the Internet. In 1989, the internet was first commercialized. Now let me talk about World Wide Web. World Wide Web is a system of hyperlinked documents that can be accessed via the internet using a web browser. Each web page may contain links to other pages using hypertext. It is a collection of web pages, for example, HTML formatted documents applications and services. Now let us talk about the key developments of World Wide Web. Tim Berners-Lee wrote the original proposal of World Wide Web in 1989. In 1993, Mark Anderson and his colleagues at the University of Illinois created Mosaic, the first web browser opening the web to the world with software that is easy to use. In 1994, the World Wide Web Consortium was founded at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology in collaboration with CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research, where the web originated. The World Wide Web Consortium is an international community where member organizations technical experts and the public work together to develop web standards. Now let us do a comparison of the Internet and World Wide Web. First, the Internet is a massive network of networks, a networking infrastructure. On the other hand, the World Wide Web is a way of accessing information over the internet. 
It is an information sharing model that is built on the top of the internet. The internet connects millions of computers together globally using TCP IP protocol suite. The World Wide Web is a middleware that uses the HTTP protocol to transmit data. The internet was developed first and World Wide Web was developed later and uses the internet infrastructure. The internet is a network in which any computer can communicate with any other computer as long as they are both connected to the internet. World Wide Web is a distributed system that consists of layers of software, applications, services, and web pages.